Tonight we're down at Azzaro, it's a little bit wet, it's a little bit dark, it almost feels, almost feels like winter but it's not, it's warm and balmy and we're here with Daisy Heartbreaker. Mm. How are you honey? <laughs> Hello, I'm super well here, just like enjoying the, you know, like the cool down weather. I know, it's nice isn't it, it's like August has been so full on, July full on, September, the beginning hectic and now it's like... Yes, I was missing, you know, like uh, a little bit of London weather, so it's cool, it's really? nice. Yeah. It's really sad. Yeah, oh, this is cool. <laughs> now, tonight you're, you're playing up here, it's the, a charity event for the Ibiza Preservation Fund. Uh, you're playing in about half an hour. Yes. But is. in general, you've had a really big year, 2010 has been great for you. I mean, apart from doing these great events that you've been a part of, you've had some big things going on this year. Yes, I'm really happy. To be honest, I'm, I'm really happy. I'm really, you know, motivated and I'm quite like um, feeling, you know, like, um, into mm. some kind of, yeah, a good rhythm. So, yeah. um, yes. Um, what kicked it off for you this year? I mean, what, what was the plan over the winter for the summer? Well, basically, um, I think uh, throughout the winter, the opportunity of having my high voltage night at Pasha helped a lot. So it was one of the main parties throughout the winter in Pasha and then that gave me the opportunity of finally, you know, break through into um, this kind of great DJ boots in the dance scene, you know, like, like um, <laughs> yes, yeah, like for any DJ, I think that is like a kind of dream to just have the opportunity of finally go there and play in these DJ boots and great DJ, uh, great sound systems and um, so basically yeah the winter I think the winter kick off the whole whatever the whole was going to happen yeah in the summer so. I mean we came down and we were watching listening like almost ogling you playing on the terrace at uh, the come together closing party I mean how did the relationship come about with come together and, and space but then to be on that terrace <laughs> in the lineup, I was based here throughout the summer, and they they gave me the opportunity for one main DJ set at the um, at the discotheca. And the guys, I just like what I was doing. I think mainly the audience was who who made the other people decide, you know, because if the audience dances and they go crazy, I think then the rest of, you know, like whatever is happening there is, you know, okay, why not, you know? So I think it was just amazing to have the opportunity of, you know, like my first time at Space, opening party, come together. I was hosting the Red Box with high voltage, but also I was playing my main DJ set, warming up um, at the discotheca. So it was like a lot of wow. butterflies, you know? And, uh, and then I did play for a super packed discotheca. Uh, people they just really love it and what I really like about this new night was um, the audience really young audience that they come to Ibiza they came to the party come together really eclectic style music mm, eclectic music yeah. different rooms and and they know you know what the DJ is playing you were collecting vinyls for years you know how does that compare to to now with using CDs and you know having all your rock music on vinyl and well, now mixing it in electronically with CDs. You know, um, how was that evolution? Uh, to me, it was like uh, heartbreaking, but uh, because because <laughs> I had to leave all my finals in LA, and basically to travel with all that was just impossible. And then uh, I had to move to move to you know like whatever the technology was heading to or leading to. So. Um, the city to me was amazing. The digital era to me was like okay, you know. So now, move with the time. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. And um, and since then, I remember. Uh, I think around that time, you know, like um, this great great equipment. You know, like I was just like ex 
experimenting with uh, CDJs. Yeah. And all that, I was like, wow, this is amazing. And um, Did, with, Has it changed the way that you play, you play and the way that you organize yes, your set? Yes, yes, of yeah. course, definitely. I always have a favorite ones and then I, I just, you know, like I don't, I don't want anything else. So the opening come together, I just arrive, DJ booth, okay. Really, you know, like butterflies in my stomach. It's like, okay, 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 you know, like I know they've got the pioneer equipment there, so everything is gonna be fine. Um, and then suddenly I arrived there and they had this other different mixer. And then I was like, oh, I don't want that mixer, you know, so. Um, Ooh, did you get all like princess like and be A like... little bit, no, but I mean. <laughs> Stamp no. your foot. <laughs> the thing is about, you know, when you, when you, when you just. Um, been experimenting and been practicing and, and you know you know like your moves and so you just um, you can you you can adapt to different stuff but yeah you can be flexible but when you yeah, but, rely on something yeah 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 but when you just already you know being yeah. like ah oh, I want that because it has all these great functions that I want sure. to just use and and then I want to feel comfortable you know because especially when you have a great gig, you know, so or a really important gig, and you want to feel confident and comfortable and relaxed. So it's like I am not going to just start, you know, experimenting with a new something there. So it's like, okay, please change it. Okay, you know, technicians right, running, 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 running. We have to open now. <laughs> Daisy Heartbreaker, she's a DJ sounds girl, DJ sounds girl, and uh, we're at Antero and it's raining. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.